Lexus overheating BMW and also talk about how some modern technology is garbage. Now this BMW has a bad water pump. It's a plastic electronic water pump. Now even though this BMW is only three years old, the electronic water pump has broken already. For most of history, cars have mechanical pumps that would run off a belt, they're made out of metal, and they can last an awful long time. So why anyone would want to make a plastic electronic pump to pump hot water through an engine and expect it to last very long is beyond me. Although considering the over thousand dollar replacement cost of this BMW water pump, now I understand why they're making a lot of money fixing them. Now diagnosing a bad water pump on this BMW is easy. You could only drive it about a minute and it would start to overheat and the cooling fan was running full speed the whole time. So the computer knew the pump wasn't working and it would turn the fan on to try to keep the car from overheating, but of course it didn't last very long. Now being a BMW nothing's easy. You got to get the water pump from the bottom of the car so we've jacked it up and we're going to work from the bottom. Now when we crawl under the car, we look under after taking the cover pan off and there's the water pump on the bottom of the engine in an almost impossible to reach position. So not only did they put on an electronic part that's bound to break, they put it in a place that's almost impossible to get off. Oh, brilliant engineer in there. So now you got to take the wheel off, take half of the plastic off on the inside of the wheel well in order to get some access point to start working on it. Ugh. You'd certainly think they could design them better than this. Then you get to have the fun of reaching an almost impossible to reach areas to get the hoses off to get to the bolts to take the water pump off. And then the real fun starts because it is an electronic pump after all, and the plastic electronic connectors from being hot under the engine there are very brittle and often they'll snap off too when you have to unplug them to take the pump off. Then after unbolting a bunch of stuff, jacking a motor mount up in the air so you can get enough room, you can finally pull the water pump out. Ugh. Can anyone say Three Stooges Engineering? And here's something else you need to know about these BMWs. The bolts that hold them on are made out of magnesium. They hardly weigh anything, but they're very brittle. So you have to buy three new bolts to put it on or they'll break off. Another brilliant design. Then you slide the water pump back down, jack the car back down, put the motor mount back together, bolt that back on. And now of course you gotta bolt everything back together and put it back so you can drive it. So realize on a BMW this is a gigantic job that takes a lot more than five or six hours to do. And all because they decided to use a plastic electronic water pump. What an idea. Me, I'll stick to a car that has a metal water pump that runs off of a belt. And remember, if you have any car questions just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.